Welcome to Random and Desperate. Now we're at Touchstones today in Rochdale and we're going to look round this museum which I have permission for. It is, let me just say, it's a museum about how people used to live years ago, let's say the 60s, 70s or even further back by then. So we're going to have a look round and see what interesting things we can discover round here. Because you know what I'm like about local history. Absolutely. I like going back in time. Look at the teapot, Godspeed teapot. Butter turner. That's how I used to make butter a long, long time ago. Look at that Victorian. Now some of these pieces are so old. As I said, what about mills in my previous blogs? In Rochdale, this was the, let's just say, it, it zoomed with cotton mills, producing lots of cotton and other kinds of fabrics. Now, a shame most of these mills don't ex exist no more, but you still get remnants of history. As I say, look at this, look at this. Eh? You imagine all the uh, local potties, the local ladies working on this particular site. The coal mine, you know, what these gentlemen went through to get coal. Look at these children at work, kids. What are they, 13, 14? As young as five and six used to work in, in the cotton mills for labor. Oh, things have changed now, which is a, a bonus. Hands, push them. Okay, that didn't work, okay. this telephone now this ladies and gentlemen this is a telephone <laughs> where you used to go hello how can I help you yes can I order Domino's pizza please <laughs> now most children most young people now do not know what that is a telephone <laughs> all the old shops the oxo cubes sweet is here and they're not very safe. Well, look at the account books there, how much things actually cost. The old scales where you used to put this, your sweeties on. You stay half a pound, a quarter of a pound, or whatever. <laughs> the toilet. <laughs> Even the toilet had patterns on, okay, when you're on your local shit. Look at this, beautiful. <laughs> the old. <laughs> Pots and pans are like an old kitchen. Yeah, you haven't done your washing up there. Old toys for children. I say kids, there was no apples, there was no iPads, there were no tablets. You had to use what's called your imagination. Hey, they're nice shoes. Hey, look at that. <laughs> Lisa Stansfield's shoes. I think she was what from Rochdale, if I remember right, my local history. And this is one of my favourite places. Look at this. We are at the local bar. Real ale, people. Real ale. Interesting in the stools, how they've got holes in at the bottom. Old TVs, old radio stations. So people used to sit a night in was watching the TV, listening to the local wireless, local. 
the local stories, what people used to say. Hands in, feel and guess. Ooh, okay. I gather that is. Let's have a look what it is. Okay. A table te tennis. Now this one, stick my hand in it. Oh God. Oh, that's a ball. <laughs> a ball. See, I like sticking my hands in things where I shouldn't do. I know what that is. That is a snooker. I don't do a snooker cube about this one. Nothing in this one. This one. Oh, God. A disc of some kind, a throwing disc. Oh. Got the old caps, 1883. Like oh, these gentlemen here are posing for this picture. 1818. These will be either 100 year old or they've probably passed away. Imagine how much stories they can actually tell us in our lifetime. Look at this, people. My favourite place. Black pill. <laughs> Mmm, oh lovely, hey. Local hottie swimwear here. So years ago, people used to go to Blackpool. It was their major holiday destination, Blackpool. Now, when we went to Elm Rochdale, I didn't hear this lady's name quite a few times. She did a few musicals around one of the local theatres back in the days where there was quite a lot of theatres in Rochdale. But over time, they've all turned into pubs or different ca or shops now and flats. It's unfortunately that they don't exist no more. Mm. So this was a cotton mill. This one's one of the owner. John Bright, son of a cotton mill manufacturer. Was born in Rochdale in 1811. And by the time of his death in 1880, he was the most famous politician at the time. And he was anti-war, if I remember a bit of my history. Yeah, he was, he was anti-war. They called him the angel of death. It was from Manchester. We were out in Manchester, out in Rochdale. I don't know what um, seat he was actually in at the time. Look at this, look. Wow, look at this. Look at the artwork. The paper's still there. The book's still opened. Rochdale Union. This is a this is a workhouse formerly opened in, on the 18th day in 1877. <laughs> it's a pretty dress. It's like it's for a, a small child, to be honest with you. Well, I hope you enjoyed this little tour around Touchstones Museum, which is in Rochdale. But if you are, come and check it out. It'll be an interesting day for the children, for yourself, for local historians. I'll see you next time, people.